Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The unified heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. has taken to social media to say it's time to get back to work. And this comes just a day after his trainer at Manny Robles revealed that Ruiz Jr. had missed the start of his training camp, hadn't been in the gym when he'd expected, and that Ruiz Jr. was out of shape. So I'll get to those comments uh, in a moment, but first to Andy Ruiz Jr.'s statement regarding getting back to work ahead of a rematch with Anthony Joshua at some point in 2019. So he says, had a blast with my kids, miss them so much, but now it's time to get back to work so I can be fight ready whenever we get this fight going, can't wait. It's a blessing, but need to take care of my responsibility and win my next fight. Thank you God for everything and I will do my best to put your name in victorious. And there's, there's a whole bunch of uh, emojis and uh, Tyson Fury actually has got an, a, a hands up emoji as one of the top comments below that you can see here on screen. So I think Andy Ruiz Jr., this post is timely because obviously uh, Robles' comments just a, a day or so ago uh, didn't make for, for great reading when you sort of thought, you know, I, I think there were a lot of fans who had some concerns was Ruiz Jr. taking some of this afterglow of the first fight. Maybe it was just lingering a bit too long and maybe he was enjoying the spoils of, um, of victory just maybe a bit too much. Uh, but I think coming out on social media just a day after these comments by Robles, I think it is a Ruiz Jr. trying to indicate to the world that he is taking this seriously. He's trying to allay some of those concerns that fans and others may have had about, you know, where he was really at. And he is saying that he is getting back to work and he is going to put everything into this rematch and he wants to beat Anthony Joshua a second time. And obviously, if, obviously, if he does that, he has the belts outright no pr promotional considerations from Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua because that'll be in the rear view for Andy Ruiz Jr. He can go off and do whatever he likes in his career with the belts if he does beat Joshua again, including a possible unification with uh, Deontay Wilder, who is the other main belt holder. So we'll have to see what happens here. But um, just on Robles' comments, which I do think has spurred Andy Ruiz Jr. to, to actually come out here. So you can see here, here's an article from Bad Left Hook. Manny Robles Robles, Andy Ruiz Jr. not in great shape, but we have enough time to get ready. So he says, we're working on getting back together this week. I was hoping it would be Monday, but it wasn't. So we're definitely working on that right now. We didn't have a training session Monday, but we're scheduled to start training this week. He's not in great shape, but he's hitting the gym back home in Imperial. He's running the treadmill, but obviously we haven't f uh, fully begun training camp. Once we do, we have close to four months to get ready, and that's enough time to get him in shape. Let's hope we can get him back in the gym real soon and get him going again. And I do think these comments have prompted Andy Ruiz Jr. to come out publicly to say, yeah, I am buckling down now, and it is time to really knuckle down and train hard for the rematch. And in terms of um, when the fight will be, well, we don't know those details exactly. Obviously, Eddie Hearn, uh, the matchroom promoter, Anthony Joshua's promoter, had announced it was going to be in Saudi Arabia on December 7th. That's still up in the air after Ruiz Jr. said he would not travel to Saudi Arabia. He wants the fight in America, his home country. He wants to have it on his own terms. Uh, and that is what he said publicly. So it kind of sort of feels like it's uh, just a little up in the air. I mean, maybe this will come to nothing maybe it will be Saudi Arabia on December the 7th maybe he will get a little bit of extra money by um, some of the tactics he might be employing here trying to squeeze a bit more money out trying to maximize his leverage as the champion but then again maybe it will end up um, landing in America so there's a few ifs buts and maybes about where it will be but we do know there is going to be a rematch and Ruiz Jr for his part what will he come in in terms of his weight? Obviously, some of what Robles is saying is we've got almost four months to prepare. 
even if it was December 7th, um, that would be about three and a half months. And I think that's probably an adequate um, amount of time for Ruiz Jr. and him to come up with whatever game plan they think they will need against Anthony Joshua and for him to get into whatever shape they think he should be in. We do know from the first fight that he came in a bit heavier, 268 pounds, and that actually worked a, a treat. He came in there throwing punches and bunches. He wanted to have a bit more sort of uh, meat behind his punches with the extra weight and it did pay dividends in the end he has spoken about wanting to come in a bit lighter and that's you know there's been a few comments being a little bit all over the map saying you know 245 to 250 and then sort of saying a few pounds lighter more recently so uh, I don't think they're going to reveal their hand in public in terms of you know game plan uh, sort of stuff and also maybe the weight maybe it won't be so much different from the first fight but Anthony Joshua they'll try to keep him guessing and Joshua as well will have to be making some sort of adjustment if he wants to try and beat Andy Ruiz Jr obviously he uh, came short in a big way on June 1st but there had been that concern in the afterglow of that win one of the biggest upsets in the heavyweight division of all time was Ruiz Jr just uh, sort of reveling in the afterglow of that um, win just a little too much obviously he's had a huge amount of media commitments and uh, all sorts of other spoils that come with a victory of that nature and now that he is a bona fide sort of star not only sort of in the boxing world but also more broad in other countries like Mexico where he uh, obviously has uh, a lot of links to through his Mexican heritage. So there was some, especially I'd noted in different comment sections and people were making comments, was Ruiz Jr. just enjoying things a little bit too much? Was he going to take his eye off the ball? And obviously the whole thing now that he has um, millions of dollars, he, we've just seen recently he's bought a new house and he's obviously been lapping up the, the afterglow of this win. Was it going to be hard uh, for him to get up for the rematch? would the motivation be there? I mean, ultimately, we, we may not know until the fight. But I think, in, you know, because through the way that he fights or potentially even after the fight, if he lost, for example, you might hear uh, often, as you do from some of these boxers, that they say that they had a bit of trouble getting up for the fight for whatever reason. And even Anthony Joshua had more recently has spoken about, you know, having lost his passion for boxing. He's trying to be, get it back, that sort of thing. So it's not always that these guys are burning bright in terms of their, you know, desire for the sport. It can sort of ebb and flow. We know that Josh was trying to get himself back in the game, his headspace. Can Andy Ruiz Jr. with his team, Manny Robles, keep his head on straight? Can they you know, make sure that he stays focused and really does go into this with everything that he's got? Because I think there are some out there at the moment that are just thinking that you know the rematch for Ru Ruiz Jr. is going to be easy work. But I think if Anthony Joshua had an off night, which a lot of people do think he you know, either for whatever reason didn't fight to the way that he could, but also we do know that he did charge in there after dropping Ruiz, trying to finish him off, and obviously got caught with the shot. He's probably going to be a bit more cautious the second time around, so Ruiz Jr. will need to be on his A-game. But it's good to hear that he's going to be back in the gym, and he's looking to um, get in shape and be ready for whenever this uh, rematch does occur. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.